fear success, I think, uh, for, for our youth, when we mention things like creative industries, which is a new kind of industry, a lot of the youth who are, who are talented, be it art or photography or, or music, they, they see it as an opportunity to, to make money and make it a living. But since we, we don't really know which direction this industry is you know, going at and, and there's a big world out there, I think that our, our youth reach a point where suddenly it's all getting bigger for them. And, and it's, it's kind of a point where every life as you know it changes. And, and you have to make a lot of sacrifices and some of the things you do you'll succeed in, some, some you'll fail. And, and it's more risk involved. So I think once our young people reach that point and there's not really anybody there to tell them, well, this is a plan of action, you might, you know, you might succeed, you might fail. Uh, they reach that point and they don't have that guidance or, or that understanding. They, they would rather go back to where they were because they feel more comfortable and, and it feels safer. It's, it's kind of like when you just start exercising and going on a diet to lose weight. So you do it and you, you do all the difficult exercises and diet. And then comes the point when it hits you. You have to do this all your life to maintain your weight. Otherwise you gain all the weight back. So at that point, you can either strive to be healthy forever or be, go back and be comfortable with eating the same food because that, that's what you're comfortable with and that makes you happy. So I think that point, the fear, of, the fear of success, I think unknown, unknown more than success. I think our youth is still fearful of what they don't understand. Our youth need to focus more on exactly what it is that they want. And, and I think that if, if you focus on something and you want something enough, you will work hard for it. And you will realize early on that, okay, this is what I have to do, and this is the path I'm going to take, and I'm going there. So I, I think what I would like for my youth is to be more focused. When I did go there and meet them, I met all these kids and they, they had this newfound self-confidence and, and newfound self-esteem. They were saying, we want to work hard. We, we didn't get this chance before. And now we understand and we want to proceed with this and, and you know, go get jobs or become business people. And I think it was wonderful to see this because uh, it kind of motivates you when you realize that there is second chances. And I think a lot of our, our kids deserve more second chances. You know, one chance sometimes is, is not enough. You know, when, you, when one is too young, you don't think about everything else but oneself. But as time goes on, you start thinking, if only, if only, if only. So I, I, I love what they've done and I love how quickly they've done it. They just need to make sure that these kids have jobs when, when they leave. I was with the Ministry of Youth, Culture and Sports, and they were mentioning creative spaces uh, for, for youth to get all their creativity out and talk to one another about things that they like, whether it be music or art or, or photography. <clears throat> and I think it's a good idea to have this creative space. They need to find it within themselves. And the creative space, I think they, they need it to get all the stress out, to get all the, the energy in them out and, and put it to productive use. Eventually is the, the atmosphere of all these creative people coming together and saying this is it, this is communication between one another and, and talking about where we want our, our artwork to go or our talent. And then I think, and then after that, I think is step two, which is trying to form something where they can make a living out of it. So we will, I think, you know, I'll do that as soon as I can, get this creative space, these creative spaces for our kids. The Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports and myself had envisioned for Family Day, making it such a big, you know, a big day was to remind people that there are people who will be there for you when you need help or when you need uh, when you reach a part, you know, spot in your life where you feel like you're hopeless. 
there is that family and you can talk to your family. And it, it is important to be able for families to communicate. There's not as much humanity as there used to be back when we were kids in the 80s, when, when gadgets weren't as big as they are now. So, so I think communication is really important so that people don't become too, too engrossed in something so little like a machine and, and, and the outside world, that they forget the world around them.